Hi guys, sorry about that. This is the true Hookah King and I am way hyper because I have crazy hair. Because my hairstylist is cool like that. But anyways, let's bring you the review of the Haze Mint. Wait, that, that. Mint. Haze Mint. Just mint. Nothing special, nothing pretty, nothing fancy, not like, oh, I'm so beautiful. Just mint. So... Smell it? It smells minty. Anyways, let's get on to the review. I'm using Carnival KM, water in the base, standard bowl, foil, two bricks from one bar of the Exotica 8.1 Stellar Bamboo Charcoals, proud sponsor of the True Hoogie King, and a caravan washable hose. Now let's get on to the thunder clouds. I'm not going to lie. They probably could be better, most definitely, maybe something. But this bowl's been sitting for about... What time is it now? Three, four, let's go with three and a half. Three and a half hours, so yeah, maybe. So maybe the clouds would have been better if I did this the first half of the bowl because this is the second so it's been sitting for a while because I had to go do some things and I couldn't do the review during that first half that I had but I have to say that the clouds maybe a four so it's not too bad not too shabby anyways the taste of it like I said, there's nothing special. It's not It's not flashy or sparkly or gaudy or look at me, I'm so pretty. It is just mint, just straight up mint. The powerfulness of the mint, I don't know. Right now, right now it's about 6.5 out of 10. But that's the thing about mint, is that sometimes it's like, wow, this is, uh, this is like kind of strong, but you know, and then like after a few hits, you're just like, oh, it's not that strong anymore. That's what it is with mint, with me. I don't know about you, but with me, it's that way. Um, I don't think this is a very strong mint, so if you're looking for something to blow your head off, this ain't it. But it is a good mixing flavor. I would suggest using the mint for mixing. Um, like, uh, I have a mix coming up um, with the haze mint, uh, just to see how it turns out. I think it'll be an interesting combination. That will be coming up soon, as well as the videos with the cool intro and stuff, because that's awesome. But this is on my webcam just because of time and stuff like that. So, my overall rating for it a 6 out of 10. Not because it's bad, it's just it's a mixing flavor and I don't mix that often. Not as often as I should. But it's a good mixing flavor. So, I have a question for you guys too. Um, before I end this video, I just want to know, do you like it if I'm like, THUNDERCLOUDS? Or do you like the more THUNDERCLOUDS? You know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a deep and dark thunder clouds? Or do you prefer, like, the lightning flashing everywhere, like, thunder clouds? I mean, yeah, so let me know, and I'll probably start doing that more. Or I can do both. I can switch it up. I don't know. I'm just bored. I'm just asking out of the boredness and the hyperness of my mind what to do. So, because, see, when I say bored, it doesn't mean that I'm not busy, though. So, anyways... I'll have some interesting stuff coming up, especially a cool, interesting video that you'll be able to see on the THK Factor, and also another video that you can see on Glickman Markinson's... Our company YouTube, link will be in the description. Anyways, that's my review of the Haze Mint. Pick it up if you don't like strong mints, and pick it up if you want to mix flavors with the mint to give it a little bit of a minty glow.
Does that work? Glow? Glow is a visual thing, huh? Well, that's the way it's going to be. So, that's the end of this review. Stay tuned. I'll have more reviews for you until I think I, I had something that I was going to do, but then I forgot. Oh, well, whatever. Bye, guys. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>